uh, now in part two of the same tutorial about the color sensor and how the color sensor uh, detects uh, uh, a certain uh, line, which is a certain color because the color sensor reads colors, okay? And it will perform action. It will send an, a command to the robot to perform action. So now we need the robot uh, when it uh, detects or the color, when the color sensor detects uh, a certain color, which is black in this case, uh, the robot, it will make the robot turn left, okay? So in our previous tutorial, we, we use the, the command, the following commands. First, we have to set the movement to motor B and C, which are controlling uh, the wheels, motor B and C. And we want to lower the speed of the robot. We don't want the speed to be high. Uh, we can make anything 50 uh, and equals 50 and below because we want to give the color sensor a chance to read and feels and detects the, the colors. And then we will start moving forward, okay? Uh, I didn't uh, specify number of rotation degrees or uh, like uh, seconds uh, because I'm using sensors. So the sensor is going to detect uh, or will, 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 will keep the robot moving until it sees something something we don't know this uh this line uh, after how many rotations or seconds or degrees will uh will be close to the or uh, the robot will feel so we are gonna continue or start moving forward until the color sensor which is connecting to uh port number three will detects black line, if I have another color, like a red or white or whatever, then I have to choose the color from the list. The action is going to stop moving and then it will play a sound, which is black, say black, so we can see that. Okay, now I want the robot to stop on the line and it will say the name of the color. And after that, it will turn right. Okay, so we can say, we can say, uh, we will go back to the movement and we will go to move for one rotation at 50, 50 speed. Okay. We have, if I want the robot to turn to left or right, we have different kinds of turning. We know that one of these kinds that to make one of the motors moving forward while the other one is moving backward. So the robot, if we say that this one is moving, is, is a negative value, then it will move backward while the other side is a positive positive value, then it will move uh, forward. Okay, so I need the robot now to turn. I'm gonna use this block, which is going to control the two motors separately, so everyone can take a different power. Okay, I can say now this one related to B, which is the first motor, and this one controlling C, which is the second motor. So I want the B, which is the, uh, which is the left one to move forward. I want the robot to turn to the right side. Then I want the left one, the left wheel to move forward while the right one will move backward. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one positive. Let me say 30, while the other one is going to be negative 30, okay? I'm gonna test now. I'll take this back and yeah, okay. So the robot after detecting uh, the, the black line, it said the name, it does 
three actions. The first one, stop moving. The second one, set the name of the color. The third one, it, perf it performs performed a turn, but this turn is not 90 degree. We want 90 degree. It made more than 90 degrees. Then I have to reduce the number of rotation here or the value of the rotation to make it, for example, half. And now I'm gonna try the project or the experiment again. Yeah, it should be fine. So this is how can we make the color sensor detect slime. And then when it detects the line, stop moving, play a sound, and then turn to the right side by 90 degree angle. Thank you for watching.